Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to connect Azure Sentinel to AWS CloudTrail. So let me just log, log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and so we will use the AWS connector to stream the AWS CloudTrail management events into the Azure Sentinel. This connection would process delegates access for Azure Sentinel to the AWS resource logs creating a trust relationship between AWS CloudTrail and Azure Sentinel. This is accomplished on AWS by creating a role that gives permission to Azure Sentinel to access the AWS logs. Right. So the prerequisites for this to work would be that you must have write permissions on the Azure Sentinel workspace and then we will connect to AWS. So I log on to my Azure Sentinel. This is my Azure Sentinel workspace. I click on data connectors under configuration. Under uh, I go for a Amazon Web Services and I click on open connector page. It says to integrate with Amazon Workspace, make sure you have write permission is required. I have it. And this is a green check over here. Configuration Connect AWS Cloud Trail with Azure Sentinel. So I would log on to my Amazon console. This is here. Right. I would go under. Uh, I would look for Identity and Access Management Service. And go for uh, Roles. I would click on Create Role. And I would go for uh, another AWS account, right? So this is the account ID. So I would open up my, this is the Microsoft account ID. I would paste it here. And I would make sure that the require external ID is connected. I would come here, I would copy this, I will paste it here and I would go for permissions and under attach permission policies I would look for AWS Cloud Trail Read Only Access. Okay. Tags, which is optional, and I would go here. I would go role name as Azure Sentinel. Click on Create Role. The Azure, the role, this has been created and these are the permissions. Okay. Done our part on the Azure Sentinel. Now you would copy the role ARN. And now you will go to your, uh, here you paste the ARN here, you click on, so now I am on Azure portal and I am copying the role ARN that I created on the AWS onto the Azure portal, click on that, it will validate, 
AWS role ARN added. And I would see what our next steps are. So these are two workbooks that I can use to look for the data. Right, and these are this. And I have connected my AWS connector with the Azure Sentinel. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.